Hello YouTube, this is Jaguar Drag Racer with my 116th E-Revo VXL. Um, I really like this car because it's so durable and it's extremely fast out of the box. Uh, let me take off the body and show you some of the insides that you get. Uh, really quickly here. Okay, so as you can see, you get the Traxxas Valenian system, a uh, waterproof servo, waterproof ESC, waterproof uh, transmitter box or receiver box. Um, pretty much everything is uh, waterproof except for the batteries, but you can get waterproof batteries for it, though. I'll let you know that. Um, as you can see, I don't have the wing on it at this moment because I jacked mine up a couple times and I had to get a new one. I'm getting the carbon fiber one, only ten dollars. It's pretty nice. Um, but uh, I have to tell you, uh, with one battery, this thing is insane. And when you're running dual and series, that is just too much power. You can do backflips from the start. It's crazy. So. Um, that's pretty nice. The uh, the ones that are being made now come with the 2.4 gigahertz system, which is a good deal, because when they first came out with these, uh, they had the regular FM, and it cost just the same as the 2.4 gigahertz style. So those people who waited were pretty smart. <laughs> um, I still have everything still stock. Nothing has been changed. Uh, besides the AMs. Uh, the AMs were pretty durable for a little while, but I had to uh, I had to change them because they do break. I went to the RPM and the RPM have not broken whatsoever. So uh, don't go aluminum, go RPM. Trust me, they're worth it. Because the aluminum are extremely expensive and the RPM are not that bad. Uh, but, you know, other than the A arms, everything is pretty pretty durable. Uh, I my steering knuckles do pop off occasionally, but it's uh, it's good to have a weak link, and you can just pop them right back on. Uh, some of my friends have the uh, uh, RPM ones, and those ones are actually more difficult to pop back on. So I don't suggest those ones. Just stick with the regular ones, and you should be good to go because uh, they're cheap. And they, you know, they pop off when there's too much stress on there, and they don't break, so that's pretty nice. Um, another thing I want to mention, the tires on the on the uh, e Evo stock, uh, they do uh, unglue occasionally because the truck's so fast, and it, you know, it whips those tires around pretty good, so you have to maybe buy a thing of tire glue to keep those from doing that um, but other than that really good traction and I love the color of the rims it's that metallic black it's really neat looking I think it's pretty cool um, you can get dual servos really don't need to because the one servo has enough power to torque over anything so that's, uh, that's about it and the other thing is the drivetrain will start to go out on you after a while. They are hard and still um, differentials, but they do tend to wear out. So, just letting you know. Um, overall, I think the EVO is a great car, and whoever buys one should be quite happy with it. Right, thanks for watching.